I'm joined on the line by the Vits Radio Academy's Paul McNally, who, like every week, is going to speak to us about this week's episode of The Science Inside. Thanks for joining us, Paul. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Now, this week, you looked specifically at the issue of service delivery, and that is something very close to every South African's heart. Yeah, we wanted to go into this issue in many different ways and sort of doing it in an unexpected sort of way. So we picked up three different stories around it. We wanted to look at the rats in Alexandra and actually try and find out, this is a township in Joburg which infamously has these huge rats. The way the myth goes is that they are big enough to kill a cat. So we wanted to take a look at that to see, first of all, the struggle that people have around this issue and then also to bring in an expert to um, biologically look at if this is even possible, if you can grow rats this large. That was the first story. So how did, we, how did you link the, the rat story to service delivery? Well, the idea is that people are, they consider that a huge right. You know, the idea that they're being overrun by these rats um, and it, it's causing a lot of upset. So the idea was to kind of take that issue that people are feeling very strongly about in the township and try and find out, try and debunk it in a sort of scientific way. Um, and to find out why the rats, there's been many initiatives of giving the rats poison, and we go in, our expert goes into why the poison sort of stops working, which is quite interesting. Hmm. And then the second topic that you looked at? The second topic was uh, in Hillbrow. We basically, so we took service delivery and we broke it up into lots of different parts. And the second part was about health service delivery. So we found um, a clinic in Hillbrow which has one of the most top um, TB centers in the country, essentially. So it's running, uh, it's got all the facilities, it's got everything that you could possibly imagine to conquer and contain TB. But when we got there, we found out that it, actually these, these special clinic areas are being used just as a tea room. So when we arrived, it was basically the, uh, the area, it was two people and a microwave just sitting there and heating their sandwiches. Um, and we go into the technology around what it takes to create something as amazing as a TB containing center. But unfortunately, when we, the ones that we visited, they're not being even used to that extent. So it was a like eye opening and crazy sort of experience. And then you looked at the issue of baby boxes. Yeah, this is a horribly macabre issue that we wanted to take a look at because essentially it stems from a health problem, like people are not People are not being so adequately looked after or adequately counseled while they're pregnant. So uh, the idea of a baby abandonment is sort of ratcheting up in Joburg. Um, people we spoke to in Deep Salute, um, a, a township here, uh, they say that it is on an epidemic rise, this idea of people just abandoning their babies. So the sort of the technology side has come in to create these baby boxes where people put um, a baby after it's been born and then they can guarantee that it's going to get medical treatment. So the idea is that an alarm goes off and we spoke to an amazing paramedic who would actually be on call at the time that would come and collect the baby up and make sure it's okay. Would these boxes be stationed around communities or police stations or hospitals? Yeah, we go to one where it's in a foster home. So, and the idea is that it is anonymous. So the, sort of, the idea is that it is where you will not be confronted with the idea that you're doing this. But the places uh, really encourage the idea that you don't leave your baby in a baby box. Actually, you do it formally through paperwork. Um, but they can guarantee that if the baby is placed in the box, the alarm will go off and anything from um, resuscitation to keeping the baby warm will happen um, from the paramedic as quickly as possible. That was Paul McNally from the Vitz Radio Academy. Thank you so much, Paul, and we'll chat next week. Hey, thanks very much for having me.